right, Shalom. Uh, this is Brother Daniela coming back again with another lesson. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Raka, HaKodash. And double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, all right, who taught us this truth. And Shalom to the whole for the elect, all right. And uh, I just wanted to do a, you know, just a quick response video. At least I'm going to try to make it quick. Um, that the uh, the elder apostle Gabar here, here this is his channel, uh, uh, daily edification. Um, I can't really see the whole channel, but uh, let me see. Yeah, daily edification, uh, daily edification, daily exhortation to Banyamyan. All right, because the elder is uh, from the tribe of Banyamyan, which is Benjamin. All right, and um, you know, just doing a response video of what he off of what he said. You know, from a comment that he got where, you know, basically a, uh, someone came on the comment board and, you know, asked a question and in the way that he asked it <clears throat> seemed a little, uh, I guess trying to, uh, uh, taunt, but, um, asked a question, you know, uh, you know, you, you know, Yahusha is the top angel. You know, and you know the elder, he went into it, improved it, and I just wanted to add some more scriptures to it, man. Because, yes, yes, <laughs> Yahweh Shai is the top angel. He's the top angel. He's at the right hand of the Most High, and all the angels in heaven, all right, bow down before him. Okay, now and all, all the, all everything, you know. Once the Lord establishes his kingdom, everything's going to bow down to, to Yahweh Shai. It's written, man. You know, he's heir of all things. He owns everything, man, which was given unto him by his father. So uh, first, let's, 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 first, um, let's first get the definition of angel. What is an angel? All right. <clears throat> let's, let's, what is an angel? Uh, let's type that in. Angel. I'm using the blue letter Bible here. What is an angel? Right? Um, right? So here, we're going to take one of these here. So it says, angel of the Lord, angel of the Lord. All right. So we're going to grab it. We're going to get the Hebrew word for angel. Right? Because really, angel translates into, uh, in the Hebrew, uh, it translates into uh, two um, different meanings, really, um, if I'm correct. And we're going to check them out. So, uh, right, okay, so here's, here's one of them, which is... Uh, Malaak. Okay, Malaak. It says the angel of the Lord found her by the fountain of water in the wilderness by the fountain in the way to Shur. All right, so Malaak. All right, here's one of the words. It is a messenger. Okay, a representative. A messenger, angel, a theopanic angel. I don't know what that word theopanic is. Um, it says root meaning dispatch as deputy, a messenger. When you dispatch something, you 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 send it out. You know, like uh, in in the police force, they have they dispatch a team. Or like say they have a serious situation, they want to send out the SWAT. They dispatch the SWAT team. All right. Um. A messenger specifically of the Most High, i.e. an angel, also, also, right, a prophet, priest, or teacher, right? So an angel, okay, which is um, uh, Malaak, okay, is, is a messenger, man, a representative. So that could be a prophet, that could be a priest, and that could be a teacher of the Most High. 
right? But now that also could be, all right, a messenger from the spiritual realm, all right, uh, a spirit that came down to, to for to give uh, uh, um, understanding unto a prophet, okay, or unto a priest or unto a teacher of the Most High, right? So that's one of the definitions, a messenger. Now, you know what? Let me also get um, let me also get this here. We're gonna go to you know we're gonna we're gonna get these words. See this <laughs> through the spirit. I, this might be longer than I thought, but uh, we're also gonna get uh, go to the etymology dictionary. We're gonna type in the word angel here. You know these different apparatuses we use, which you know we learned. Okay, as an exam uh, example. Uh, that our apostles use, okay, which, you know, equip us with more understanding of what we're reading, all right, with with uh, complete understanding of what we're reading. We learned this from the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, the Blue Letter Bible, the Etymology Dictionary, you know, your regular conventional dictionary. Taking them through these different things will give you a, a, a more concrete, a concrete and a solid understanding of the words that you're reading, man, you know. So let's get the word angel here. Right, it says angel. Now, one thing is that they'll use, uh, at the top of these, they'll often use, um, you know, uh, some of the uh, latest definitions of it, but then they'll break it down uh, completely on what it means. It says, one of the class of spiritual beings, attendants, messengers of the Most High. So there you go, right? So it could be a spirit, an angel could be a spiritual being, all right? One of the powers from uh, from heaven sent by the Most High, or it could be an actual man, okay? A prophet, a priest, all right, sent by the Most High, Okay? It says, uh, 1300s, fusion of Old English in, in gel, okay, with hard, oh, in gel, with hard G, you know, in gel, because it said the hard G. It says, uh, in Old French, an, an, angele, okay, um, both are from late Latin, angelus, from Greek. Angelos, literally messenger, envoy, one that announces, right? So, the word angel itself, okay, from its origin means what? Uh, um, uh, um, from its origin means what? A messenger, an envoy, okay, or one that announces, right? A messenger. It says in the New Testament, divine messenger, right? So a messenger from the heaven, and it could be a messenger on earth, it could be a messenger from the heavens, all right? You know, it could be a prophet. A prophet brings a message from the Most High about what the Most High is going to do, right? He says it before it actually happens. That's a prophet. To say, that means to say before, okay? So, you know, like the word, Angel used in the sense of a messenger in the Hebrew is malaak. All right. Now we want to get um, we're going to get the other definition. All right. Let me go back. Uh, let me come off of here. Let me go back to here. Cause that's what we do. Okay. Now we're going to get the other definition. Let's tap up here. Go back. We're going to get the other definition here, which is in. Type in angel again. Should be able to look for the lexicon here. That's not in this version of the app. Um, let me see. If I can't find the other word here, I'll just go to uh, Genesis.
this is one right um, see here okay right Malaak okay so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go to Genesis the first chapter all right we're gonna read that it says in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth now when it says this God created the heaven and the earth it was not talking about which this is a whole this is a whole another lesson but it was not talking about the heavenly father himself you know the heavenly father gave the order and the blueprint and the command right but he doesn't have to lift a finger he's the king right but he had his son which is Yahweh Shai the top angel and the other holy angels with him all right to create the universe man all right the heavens and the earth so, let's get that word there, right? This is talking about the actual angels, all right? Which, that right here in the Hebrew is Allah Hayyam, all right? Allah means power, Allah means power, and then you add the yum to it, makes it plural. So, that's talking about the powers, man, all right? Now it says here, it's uh, rulers, judges, divine ones, angels, right? So the angels, those spirits, okay, that have that power to manipulate elements, they created the universe. And al al among them was who? Yahweh Shai. Okay? Now, so those those different words for angels, you got Malaak. And then you got Allah or Allahayim, okay? I guess it'd be Malaakim, all right, for messengers, and Allahayim for angel, for for powers, right? Powers, okay? Um, it says God's here. That's a low, low, lowercase g, all right? Uh, God, no God is uh, God like one, all right? Right, divine ones. So those are basically what we would call uh, the an the angels, man. Okay, the spirits. Okay, uh, from the spiritual realm that minister unto the Most High. All right, but they can also be called messengers, man. Okay, they can be called uh, 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 um, Allah or Malaakim. Okay, so just to give you a, a better sense of that word. Now I want to get into some some precepts here. We're gonna go here, you know, just to prove that Yahweh Shai is the top angel. First of all, you know, an angel also is what a spirit. Uh, let me see here. Let me type this in. Spirits. All right. Boom, there we go. So this is uh, Psalm, um, Psalms. Uh, we're just going to read it right off the screen here. It's Psalms 104. We're just going to go right to it then. I feel like I'm kind of a little all over the place. Just re-downloaded this app. I haven't used it in a while. I usually use it off my uh, my lap, my desktop. Not on the phone. Uh, so we're going to go to Psalms chapter 104 and verse 4. Right? And this is talking about, you know, the great power of the Most High, man. Right? It says, who maketh his angels. And let's see what that word is there. Let's see what it is. Lock in. All right, which is uh, Malaak. All right, so his envoys, his messengers. Who maketh his angels spirits, man. His ministers a flame of fire. Right, because a spirit, a spirit really is fire, man. Pure energy, man. Your spirit is fire. Right, he maketh his angel spirits, man. So, another uh, um, word to refer to the powers, okay, of the Most High, 
the angels, so to speak, are what? Spirits. Okay? The spirits. Alright, now let's 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 get this, man. Um Let me see. We're gonna go to Colossians chapter one. Uh, New Testament. We're gonna go to Colossians chapter one. And it should already be highlighted down here. Yep, okay, good. Um now this is this is talking about Yahweh Shai. All right. Um, long suffering. Uh, let me see here. Right. So, hey, let's. Uh, wait, hold on. You know, you could read up. Okay, right. You could read through here and it describes Yahushai. Um right that ye might walk worthy of the Lord until the completion. Um right, but you could read up here. Here I'll, I'll start from verse thirteen. It says, Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, who's the son of the most high Yahushai, in whom we have redemption through his blood, Yahweh Shai, even forgiveness of sins, right? Because the Lord did a mighty and honorable act to allow us to be, uh, to, for us to be forgiven and to receive this knowledge. It says, who is the image of the invisible power, right? So that's talking about Yahweh Shai. It says, the firstborn of every creature, right? So, what's a creature? A creature is something that is created. Okay? He's the firstborn of every creature. Right? So, he, he uh, uh, um, the Most High created him. Right? But now, let's read on. Because he created everything else. So, of course, Yahweh is a spirit, man. You know? A spirit. The, the Heavenly Father is is as Gad calls him, you know, the the great spirit, man. The the greatest spirit, man. Okay? And that's in uh, John chapter 4. The most high is a spirit, and he basically he looking for them that worship him in spirit and in truth. Right? But Yahweh Shai in 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 the uh, hierarchy is the is that other that spirit that's right beneath him, man. And then all everything else is underneath Yahweh Shai, man. All right? So angel is a spirit, man. All right, it's a power. Yahweh Shai is the top spirit, the top angel, man. Right, he ma who maketh his angels spirits. Okay, Yahweh Shai was the first spirit created, so therefore, of course, he's gonna have the uh, the preeminence, man. He's gonna have the superiority over all other spirits. Okay. He's the firstborn, and he's the heir. And on top of that, he created everything, man. He created all the spirit, all the other spirits, the angels and the demons. All right, us, the earth and the heavens. All right. All at the uh, the uh, the command of his father. Okay, but the Lord's good. The Lord has given him everything. All right, so Yahweh Shai is the top angel, man. The top spirit. Right? The top, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, messenger. Right? Which Yahweh Shai did come and in the angelic form, in the spirit, unto different prophets. Example, Daniel. Daniel saw him and uh, the, the, the three holy children. When, when uh, it said, uh, uh, they saw one like unto the Son of Man in the midst of the fire. That was Yahweh, you know, Yahweh Shai. Okay. Oh, 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 not to mention in the desert where the Lord said, I will send my angel uh, 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 to go before thee, you know, in the desert. Okay. Let me read this. 
Verse 16, for by him were all things created that are in heaven and in earth, visible and invisible. So the things that we see, the things that we don't see, all right, all the spirits in heaven, okay, the sun, the moon, the stars, people, animals, demons, angels, Yahweh Shai created them. It says, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities. So, yes, Yahweh Shai is the top angel, man. All right. He has the preeminence. He has superiority over all other spirits. OK. And the only spirit that has superiority over him is the heavenly father who is superior over everyone. Everything in existence, man. Okay. It says all things were created by him and for him, man. Yes. You, you're going to be, are you going to be greater than someone that created you? No. So Yahweh Shah is the top angel. It says, and, and he is before all things and by him, all things consist, man. You know? Which really the point I wanted to get was the principalities. Yes, he's the top angel. Now, I could be done there, but let me get this. This is um Hebrews chapter 1. We're going to start at verse 1. Uh, no, we're going to start at... We're going to start at... Oh! You know what? We'll, we'll start at one. All right. The Most High at sundry times in diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. Right. So the Lord had a message to deliver. All right. Or to proclaim, to announce, you know, an angel's one who announces. And he sent his prophets. Right. The Malachim. <laughs> That's not what the word prophet, but the eight, you know, prophets are considered angels, too, man. In, in the in the in the in the uh in the fact that they send they they proclaim the will of the Lord and, and send a message unto the nation of Israel. Alright? Have in these last days spoken unto us by his son, all right, Yahawashai, alright, the, the, the top Allahim, okay, the top uh Malaak, you know. Because he, in the time that he was on the earth, he was delivering a, a, a message, okay, and announcing, okay, the will of the Lord, man. Uh, 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 what is it? My meat is to do the will of him that sent me, okay? So whom he hath appointed heir of all things. What's an heir? One who, who receives something that's allotted to him, man. All right? And Yahweh Shai is the first son. Of the most high. So of course. He's going to get. He's going to be heir. And receive all things man. Alright. And the elect. Are going to be joint heirs with him. They're also going to receive. A portion of everything. That was created man. Okay. It says. Whom hath appointed heir. Whom he hath appointed heir of all things. So the most high. Exalted him. And, and appointed him heir of all things. By whom also. Made by whom also he made the worlds. Now, when you go into that word world, it goes into aeon, right? The different ages, man, the different uh, uh, time periods and rulerships that have been set up, okay? <laughs> right? Yeah, uh, through, through, the, through the Lord, they were created, man, okay? And um, you get a sense of that in um, the book of Daniel, where... Where uh, Daniel chapter chapter ten, where as a as a malaak, a messenger, an angel in the spirit, uh, uh, Yahweh Shai came unto Daniel, okay, and gave him the understanding of of what he uh, of what he was fasting for for those three weeks, man, right? But he said what uh, for for uh, for that time period he. And Michael the archangel were with the princes of Persia and they were working on their mind. Right? 
the angels basically control people's minds, so to speak, man. They work on people's minds to do the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, of the Heavenly Father, okay? That they work on people's minds to do that. So, uh, Salah here, what I'm getting at is uh, um, the different men that were, uh, that came into power, it was because the Lord set them up in the power and brought forth what? Their, their particular aeon, okay, or eon, or age of rulership, okay? That's also, um, the different rulerships, uh, 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 great kingdoms in the ancient world. That's also talked about in Daniel's the second chapter. All right, in various other chapters, you know? So, yes, through Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai, the worlds were created, man. Okay? Um, but that, and, you know, worlds translate into, you know, multiple uh, words in the scriptures also. Okay? Um, it says, Who being the brightness of his glory and express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of his majesty on high. So he's at the right hand of his majesty on high. All right? Not the other powers, but Yahawashai. Okay? So yes, he's the top angel, the top spirit in the heavens. Okay? In, in, in existence. Salakia. In existence. Okay? It says being made so much better than the angels there you go as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they boom right it says unto which of the angels said he at any time thou art my son this day have i begotten thee now when you read in the psalms it sounds like for face value, without understanding, it seems like he's talking about King David, but he's not. Because, you know, as the scriptures say, line upon line, precept upon precept, when you go to, um, right, what, Salakia, the angel that he's talking about is Yahweh Shai. This day have we gotten thee, sit, uh, sit thou at my right hand. Does it say that here too? It should. Uh, and, I will, and I will be a father. And he shall be my son. And again, he bringeth the first begotten into the world. And he said, and let the and let all the angels of the Most High worship him. And the angels, and of the angels, he said, who maketh his, there it is again, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. Now we just read that, where that came from in Psalms 104. Because that's what the, the, um, the prophets during the time of the Roman kingdom, all right, this is what they were using, man. They were expounding and giving explanation through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai on the Old Testament, man. That's what they had. Okay? It says, But unto the Son, but unto the Son, he saith, Thy throne, O power, is forever, and the scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. And thou hast lovest righteousness and hated iniquity. And Salak here. Let me try to get to the point. But that's going into Psalms 2. Um, right. Uh, but let me let me go. Let me expound upon this. Verse 5. It says, For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, and this day have I begotten thee. So where is this written? It's written in Psalms 2. Now, uh, let me go to it. Let me see here. Oh, right. This, this, this is how we do this. It's a great thing about this. You get the cross references. And um, we're going to go down here to Psalms 2 and 7. This is where you hear it. I will declare a decree. The Lord has said unto me, now is David speaking in the spirit. Is he talking about himself? His, himself? No. And we're going to prove that. 
It says, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. All right, who is his son? Yahweh Shai. It's not talking about David. Let's prove it. Um, woo. Yeah, so Acts chapter 13, okay, in verse 33, it says, The Most High have fulfilled the same unto us, their children, and that he raised up Yahweh Shai again, and that he raised up, uh, so like, I'm reading the same thing. As in it has it it is also written in the second psalm, right? Right up here, we just read that. Right? He's gonna tell you what it is. You know, uh, um, and then he's gonna break it down. It says it says, uh, as it is also written in the second psalm, thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. It's a lot. Let's get that whole chapter. Because I believe it goes into it even more. Right? <clears throat> Same children. Some, Thou art my son, and this day have I begotten thee. This is talking about Yahweh Shai. And as concerning that he raised him up from the dead. Now no more to return to corruption. He said, on this wise, I will give you the sure mercies of David. So it's not talking about David. Okay, it's not talking about David. Okay, it says, Wherefore he saith also in another psalm, Thou shalt not suffer thine one to see corruption. Now, that's also talking about Yahweh Shai. His body didn't see corruption, man. All right, his body didn't uh, decay away. All right, he was raised from the dead. Now, let's, let's get this. It says, For David... After he had served his own generation by the will of the Most High, fell asleep. So, David, you know, in his generation, in his time, he was king. He was, uh, uh, you know, when he died, his body, you know, was corrupted, man. Okay, his body decayed away. All right. And in that time, uh, uh, they, they knew where his sepulcher was. It says... And the J. Uh, Salakia, for David, after he had served his own generation by the will of the Most High, fell on sleep and was laid unto his fathers and saw corruption. Let you know that those Psalms were not talking about King David. They were talking about Yahweh Shai. But he whom the Most High raised again saw no corruption. Yahweh Shai. Okay? It says. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that though this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins, and by him all that believe are justified from all things, from which ye could not be justified by the law of Moses, right? So he basically gave the sense of these precepts are talking about Yahweh Shai. Lo, I come to, in the volume of the book, it is written of me. To do thy will, O, o Yahweh, Right? So that's talking about Yahweh Shai. Okay? You know? That's talking about Yahweh Shai. Okay? The New Testament breaks down even more what, what you know, who who exactly these precepts are talking about. It's so like, yeah, I kind of went on a little tangent. But, um... Right, so let me go back. And really, I, I, I proved the point. I just wanted to, you know, uh, uh, take the opportunity and the spirit to, uh, to to do this lesson and, you know, to further expound upon Yahweh Shai being the top angel, man. He's the top creation and all things are under him, the top spirit. All right. Angels are also spirits. So we proved that. OK. And Lord willing, this was edifying, you know, and, you know, Shalom.